I have got this one request from a lot of you guys. Can you provide some kind of a data structure sheet that I can refer to? Can you provide some kind of a cheat sheet? Can you provide some handwritten notes? Well, I have always thought about it, but I couldn't ever think of, okay, this can be something that can actually help you. I wanted to give you some kind of a resource that actually helps you, which helps you and guides you. How can you approach a problem? How can you navigate your way? How can you determine, okay, these are the set of problems that I can solve some kind of hints and that can help you to structure your entire study. And that is why I came up with an idea of a lead code navigator. This is kind of an Excel sheet. I'm going to show you what is it, but this sheet will help you actually how you can start to solve problems, no matter what your expertise level is. If you are a beginner, this sheet is helpful for you. If you are an expert, this sheet is helpful for you. And there are a lot of metrics to filter upon. So without talking about all of this, let me show you actually what all of this is about. So this is how this entire sheet looks like. And if you might have noticed, I have this entire database of all of the lead code problems. Now, how is this different from all of the problems that you're already seeing on lead code? First of all, I have included all the likes and dislikes for a particular problem. And this sheet is sorted by default on the likes column. This column is especially very, very helpful because if you look at all of these problems, which have a high number of likes, these are all of the most popular problems. And I bet you might have seen them in a lot of different places in a lot of different ways. Since lead code is a community driven platform, you go on there, you solve problems. And if you like it, you put a thumbs up. That is what makes this parameter very, very helpful. These are some of the problems which have been liked by a lot of users, which they have seen in a lot of interviews. So this becomes especially helpful. And similarly, you have a column on dislikes also. Now you ask me, why do I even need to bother about dislikes? Well, the idea over here is that sometimes a problem can be written in a tricky way. For example, you might have seen problems like, okay, write a code to add one to any number. Now, I don't think this is a very good problem to solve. This is not testing any of your expertise. So I would recommend you to skip that problem. And usually what would happen is people would put a thumbs down that, okay, this is not a good problem to solve. Now, how's the sheet helpful? What you can do is you can also sort this based upon the dislikes. Now look at all of these problems, zigzag conversion, dividing two integers, reverse integer, implementing the power function, count and say, all of these problems aren't very good. Or it could also be possible that some of these problems have a problem in the test cases themselves. So you might want to avoid a few of them. So that kind of gives you a start where you can start solving the problems. What else do you get in the sheet? I have also included the lead code difficulty level of each of the problem. So let us say you want to solve only the easy problems. You can check this filter and now you have all of these easy problems available. And once again, you can sort on multiple metrics. Now you are looking at the most liked problems. Similarly, if you want, you can go over to medium problems. And now once again, you have all of these popular medium problems as well. And similarly, I'll just show you for fun. These are all the hard problems as well. And once again, trapping rainwater. I know you might have heard about this problem. And this is one of the most liked problems. Similarly, median of two sorted arrays. These are the fundamental problems that you should get started with when you are trying to level up yourself. And once again, it is not me who is saying all of this. It is the entire community of the lead code platform. All of the users around the world who are using lead code, they say that, okay, this problem is very, very essential. So it gives you a very good study path. Okay. I can start with this problem and then maybe move on to other problems as well. For your convenience, I have added one more feature in the sheet. I know that lead code provides only three difficulty levels, easy, medium, and hard. What I have also tried to do is 
I have created another difficulty level called suggested difficulty level, where instead of three difficulty levels, you now have five difficulty levels. So let us say you are a beginner and you want to solve problems that are very easy. I have tried to determine it and these are all the problems that are a very good starting point. And once again, you can sort on the likes and that will give you a very good idea. How do you want to start? Similarly, you can also sort on the very hard problems as well. And voila, if you are really feeling challenging, these are the problems that you must begin with. What else do you get from the sheet? There is also a status column which can help you to keep a track of all the problems that we have solved. So it is kind of a very good navigator about what problems do you want to solve? What order do you want to follow? And you can also judge yourself, okay, where I am, what kind of problems I'm able to solve. Similarly, there are also all of the topics available. So for example, you want to work only on the problems that are involving arrays or hash tables or binary search. There are separate sheets for each of the problem topics. All of these problems are array problems. All of these problems are binary search problems, then binary tree, then breadth first search, bucket sort, concurrency, counting sort, data streams, backtracking. Every list follows the same approach. You can sort on likes and you can also sort on the difficulty level. And you might have already noticed, all of these problems are actually hyperlinks to the actual problem on lead code. It becomes really simple to navigate to it. If you notice, I have also added one particular column and that is called pattern. Now, what is that? So pattern is kind of an exhaustive list, which defines a particular type of a problem. You know that there are several patterns available. For example, a two pointer approach, a sliding window approach, hash maps and hash tables, dynamic programming, all of that. So this pattern column can actually help you to focus and you only want to solve a particular set of problems. Let us say I want to solve only problems that involve dynamic programming. I pick up this and now I have all of the problems available. I can sort on likes and I can sort on dislikes. Also, all of these topics, they are kind of giving me a hint. Okay, this is the direction in which I need to think. So it gives you a starting point and then it also gives you some kind of hints based upon which you can start your actual working. Not only that, you can also use these filters to work upon different patterns also. Let us say I'm interested in dynamic programming and greedy approaches. These are the two topics that I want to master. Just select these and now you have the same list available. So these are all of the things that you are getting from the sheet. The last thing I want to talk about is the acceptance rate. It kind of tells you how tricky or how easy a problem would be or after how many iterations your code would pass because a lower acceptance rate means there might be some tricky or edge test cases that you have to be careful about. A high acceptance rate means that, okay, if you've got the logic correct, most likely this problem will pass. So this field isn't very helpful, but it can sometimes help you to understand that, okay, this might be some of the caveats over here. There is also one more column available. That is the like is to dislike ratio. So what this column basically means is how many people have liked this problem versus how many people actually dislike it. So you want to target problems which have been liked by a lot of people and disliked by a very few people. It simply means that you will want to sort this in a descending order. But sorting this in a descending order can get a little tricky because there might be some newer problems which haven't received dislikes yet, but they have some likes. So this will kind of mislead you. So use this column with a little bit of caution. What you want to do is you want to scroll down a little and check out this particular problem. Look at this 12,000 people like it and only 153 dislike it. So this problem becomes very, very important. And once again, it's not me that's saying it. It is the entire internet. It is the entire lead code community who say that, okay, this is a very good problem to solve. Similarly, look at this minimum path sum. You can scroll down even further. Look for problems that have a high like ratio, longest common subsequence, 
no doubt this is a very popular problem now all of this information is not available directly on lead code you cannot sort on likes or dislikes correct so you get all of this information directly from the sheet and what is the best part i promise to update this sheet periodically i will update this sheet every week and then upload it and the best part this sheet is completely offline and you can share it as much as you want i have kept this sheet at a very nominal cost and the reason behind keeping that cost is it takes me some kind of an effort to actually maintain the sheet to find out all of these patterns and to actually deliver it to you in a maintainable format i am going to take conscious efforts to maintain the sheet periodically and keep it updated every week for such a nominal cost you get all of this it will become a very good navigator when you're deciding which problems to solve and which areas do i want to focus upon so do let me know what do you think about it i am including the link directly in the description below and you can obtain this file right here right now i also plan to enhance this sheet further and i know what you are thinking it would be really nice if i can have all of these problems also categorized by the companies that they are asking that idea is surely in my mind and i am going to create a new version of this sheet sometime in the future that will have all of this company information as well it might be at a certain higher price but you will sure get all of these features if you have stuck around with me up till this point please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends this really keeps me motivated and i can make more such videos and more such resources that can help you in your journey also a huge shout out to all of the members who support my channel you guys really keep me going and as a member you do get priority reply to your comments and early access to new videos as well i will be certainly upping all of my membership levels as well which will include all of these resources for free also and remember for any doubts that you have you can also schedule a one to one session with me and all of this information is once again available in the description below i really hope this lead code navigator works wonders for you stay tuned for my upcoming video until then see ya